<laughs> That's funny. I, I, I've got a question. Now, um, how much has the motivation, the reason for doing this, how much has that changed during the oh, years? Oh, yeah, it's uh, kind of like uh, uh, in the first race, uh, uh, or first two uh, two races. I, I never I never talk about what I gonna do. I I, t- I can't talk about what I have done. And um, and uh, when I uh, told people about uh, this uh, race in uh, in uh, Gobi desert, people was like, yeah, wow. And uh, you was looking on Facebook, you getting all the likes and everything. And that was like motivation outside. It was very. Uh, uh, satisfaction that people was talking about this and uh, uh, I was really proud but uh, I, then I realized it's, it's, it's not that why I'm running and I was also in the Freemasonry if you know about that uh, in Norwegian it's Freemura and um, I was sitting with this uh, old guy uh, above me and he uh, that was right after I was in this race in uh, China, in uh, Mongolia, uh, and um, uh, you have to converse with people. And I was seeing that this guy was actually a rich man, and because in Norway you don't not usual that you having a butler, but this guy had it. So we was leaving when uh, we were starting and uh, in Freemasons and in, um, when we was eating, uh, he was sitting up oh man, and I was asking, oh, what are you doing in daily life and so on? And he was talking, oh, I'm retired, but I have some companies. Uh, I have one company that I follow up and it's in, uh, in China. I was like, ah, China, yeah, I've been in China. I have... So I was so engaged uh, and they start talking. And, uh, um, about that. and I was running uh, because he was asking where I was in China. I was in uh, Bulan, Urshi, Ur- and so. And um, uh, when I was talking, he uh, was listening, and you saw his eyes was falling up, and he was, uh, uh, please, please stop. What you? And he was telling this. <coughs> what you telling about now is something that I would do all my life. This is adventures that I also want to do. But now my body is too old to do this. I have all the money that my body is too old. But when you are all as me, you can tell you did it. And that was kind of like, wow, he's onto something that is uh, really right. So uh, I was uh, freezing on my back then. <laughs> I was, yeah. Hmm. So um, then I, fig- I figure out that um, uh, I'm going to be more focused on myself, doing what I want to do, and don't care about others. Uh, of course, I care about others. I have family. Uh, but uh, uh, my wife told me that, oh, you are. Egoist, yeah, that's right. And I bought uh, ego trip to Tano. Was the next, <laughs> and I sent an email. <laughs> I'm going on a new trip. <laughs> but uh, it's actually uh, you. You see something on us is um, when you're having kids. I like me. I have two uh, girls. Um, when I was going on the second race like this, because I didn't care. I wanted to go. I want to do this. I don't want to work all the day. Uh, time and uh, and focus on the money and uh, material things. So uh, uh, when I was doing uh, next race and race after that, I was really uh, seeing that my kids was proud of me. They was proud of me of what I'm doing. And uh, uh, before that, I was always waiting for me when I come from Dubai or somewhere else. and was waiting for what I have in the tax trip back. <laughs> so it's quite different. And when people around us, uh, because the newspapers start writing about me and so on, you see that my kids, when their friends are talking about me and so on, they're getting really proud of daddy who's doing this. And um, uh, my youngest daughter, uh, she come to me after uh, she's 17 years old now, it's uh, two years ago. She came to me and said, uh, Daddy, I found something I want to do. And uh, I was, okay, what do you mean? Oh, I want to do a race. 
yeah, but you don't run, you you doing horse and you training strength training. So what is it? And she showed me she want to do Mongolian Derby with hundred miles on horse. So um, I was looking at uh, yeah, it's I was counting them. Oh, how much it cost? It cost about uh, uh, hundred thousand, hundred and ten thousand Norwegian crown. I was thinking to myself, I gonna get that money. She gonna do that. If this is something she want to do, it, she will do it, and she will go alone on this trip when she's getting 18 years old. So uh, we will see. But she, uh, there was also other things that uh, uh, you feel. Uh, I um, I was uh, I I'm also training strength training because I'm uh, running uh, multi stage and many days uh, days after, and I also have to carry my food and stuffs and sleeping bags and all this so uh, uh, strength training is very good uh, training on it so um, when i was uh, training on the, uh, in the local gym down here there was uh, uh, so, uh, the people who's having this gym was coming over to me and say fruda you're a damn lucky guy and i was uh, what do you mean you're having a girl she is 16 years old and she nagging on you to go training together with you. That's that's not normal. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's uh, there is some bonuses on this uh, running, and also, um, uh, what's different with this kind of running uh, compared to marathon and uh, uh, short runs? Haha, <laughs> it's 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 kind of like a, um, in marathon or shorter distance. You're having focus on the time, and that's the issue. It's only the time is counting. Or be better of the neighbor or uh, colleague or something like that, or better time that last year and so on. When you're getting on this race, I doing it's it's uh, secondary this time because uh, you never know how hot it is. The hottest I've been running is in Iran. It was 63 degrees. It was 60 degrees three hours. It was coagulating the blood on some of my comparisons. It was, yeah, it was, and um, in Yukon it was 54 minus degrees uh, Celsius. And then it was so cold that the electronic was stopping. And uh, yeah, you could have battery on your snow mobile, but it was not starting because the electronic didn't have the, uh, <laughs> it couldn't start because it was so cold. But okay, let's go back to it. You're running very long. It's kind of like you having packed your bag. You only have this bag on your back, and it's uh, uh, just uh, the things you having in your bag you can survive on. And if you're running in Alaska, you having a pulk, and it's always uh, that you want to have it as light as possible because uh, uh, as lighter you can go faster, of course. But you also have to count calories, so you uh, you need as much calorie to survive on uh, this kind of days, and you also need sleeping bags so you can sleep, uh, not too cold, days not too heavy, and all this stuff. So it's kind of like it's uh, you tuning your backpack, and it's only the backpack who can save you. Uh, so and everybody else, if you're a rich person, plenty of million dollars. You only have your backpack. If you're a poor guy, you only have your backpack and it's the and things in there. And so, so, so uh, people are starting on single uh, level uh, when we are running, and uh, uh, the funny thing is that you have to share tent with because some of these uh, races are having camps where we can stop and sleep and start over to, uh, the day after, and. Um, you're sleeping in a tent with different kind of people from different kind of world. You're having Muslims, you're having people who's, uh, f- uh, yeah, who's actually American and uh, people from Iraq have shared tent with me and so on. So it's, it's, it's quite, uh, yeah, special uh, to be in this race. And um, you can pretend two days to be someone else, to be a nice guy. But after two days, three days, then you are so in a bottom 
of the and and you you can eat everything and you are so out and everybody gets to be themselves because there is nothing no place to hide you just have to be yourself so then I, uh, uh, people who is uh, not uh, prepared uh, prepare to this they go out of the race they uh, don't fulfill the race and so on. So uh, it's uh, it's very nice to see people when they uh, are so in um, in real life uh, that you f find them in this race because uh, you pull everything out of the person and there is nothing to, to save you about the things that you have in the backpack. Like I ha helped a, uh, 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 it was in Iraq. Now I ran. I was helping a guy who was uh, uh, going down with uh, in one of the camps, and uh, uh, they was um, uh, giving him uh, 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 like uh, insulin, uh, and uh, I helped him out, and the doctor out and uh, keep the feet out because he was the uh, swimmer. Can't believe it, Faint. Fainting. Fainting. Thank you, thank you. I'm just checking if you are awake. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, um, uh, so I helped him out. Other uh, other people who have arrived this camp, they was just lying there because it was so hot. And um, the day after, uh, I helped him out. He was actually winning the race, the whole race, and he was from Italy. And there was five others people from Italy. And the day after, uh, you know, this dry food like uh, real tumat, you put water in it, hot water, and you put it down and it stands by like 10, 50 minutes and then it's ready to eat. And uh, the day after I put down my dinner, I was doing the, uh, the tan things and prepared the backpack for next day and went back to, to take my dry food and I was sitting lots of people and eating their food. When I open up, there was uh, white curtains in there. I was like, what shit is this? Well, I, I, this is not my food. Uh, I was looking at, and I looked up and looked at the people and they were sitting for Italian guy. And I was looking at me and like this. And I was eating, I was Parmesan. Parmesan cheese <laughs> that I put it in. So it's, I got some of this uh, extra calories that I have been carrying off and uh, you should help yourself out. But they, uh, this was like a thank you for the, <laughs> helping this other guy out. So uh, now, uh, uh, 